The floating city phenomenon was born in China in 2015. The first video to surface quickly went viral. Since then, several other videos of this strange phenomenon have taken the internet by storm. I never thought I would be covering this topic because, in my opinion, it had hoax written all over it. Then something interesting happened. The media began to portray this as a real phenomenon and even offered a scientific explanation. The explanation given was that this was a type of mirage called a Fata Morgana. However, if we dig a little deeper, we'll find this explanation has more holes than a block of Swiss cheese. So what's really going on here? A Fata Morgana is an extremely rare type of superior mirage that appears as a narrow band right above the horizon. In fact, all types of mirages can only appear very close to the horizon line. These mirages are most commonly seen in large bodies of water. If the conditions are just right, they can make a boat appear to hover just above the water. There is no form of mirage that can appear significantly higher than the horizon line and much less above the clouds. Captain Disillusion made an excellent video explaining this in more detail. He also brings up the inconvenient fact that none of the alleged thousands of eyewitnesses have been interviewed or even quoted in the articles. Furthermore, most available reports can't even specify exactly when these sightings allegedly took place. Lastly, he shows how easily a convincing video of a city in the clouds can be fabricated. I highly recommend that you watch his video, and there's a link to it in the description. All these facts lead to one all too familiar conclusion. These videos are most likely hoaxes. Until more reliable information comes out, this is my personal conclusion on the matter. With that said, I would love nothing more than to be proven wrong. If you follow my channel, it's no secret that I believe in certain paranormal phenomena. But in this day and age, it is becoming increasingly difficult to sift fact from fiction. And as I've mentioned before, a little bit of healthy skepticism is often a good thing. So what do you think? Leave me a comment below. Hey everyone, Drew here from Mad Cat Mysteries, and I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, you can click on the subscribe button below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.